Welcome back to Living Local. It's time for another edition of Show and Tell. And today's guest works very hard to keep every part of our station operating. But sometimes General Manager Pat Baldwin needs to unwind. And when he does, there's a good chance Irish whiskey is involved. And he joins us in studio to educate us about this drink and do a little tasting with us. Pat, thanks for coming in. Sure, thanks. All right. So tell us, what makes Irish whiskey different from other whiskeys? Okay, absolutely. So um, Irish whiskey, first of all, is obviously made in Ireland. Yes. So there's a lot of whiskeys that are made all over the world, but this has to be made in Ireland, and it's distilled three times. That's the big difference. Uh, scotch is distilled twice. Bourbon may be distilled once, but Irish whiskey is distilled three times. That means they burn it off, all the impurities, they do it again and do it. So it's a more smoother, less sweety taste than okay. most of the other whiskeys. Okay. And it has to be put in, in a wooden barrel, preferably oak from the bourbon country in, in uh, America or uh, like a port wine, and that'll give it a different taste. So, and, um, and it's made out of mashed barley where Corn, wheat, and rye are the other whiskeys, primarily. Okay, so when we talked about the barrel, does how long does it need to stay in the barrel? It has to stay in Ireland, <laughs> in the barrel. <laughs> Not in America, it has to stay in it Ireland. Has to, <laughs> it has to age for at least three years. Okay. So, now remember this. So you'll see different ages on these bottles. The youngest drop in that bottle is what they have to go by. So... If you have a, a barrel that's 15 years, another one five years, another one three, and you take out of all three, we call that a blend. Okay. But they have to say it's the age is three years, when it could be more of that 15 than anything else. Okay. So, so the longer the better? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So this one is probably a 15, but I bought it <laughs> 10 years ago. Okay. So now, you know, obviously it's a 25. Okay, so when did your love for Irish whiskey okay. begin? So I started off, um, and, um, and, and I always tell people this, whiskey is meant to be sipped, not just chug it down. And okay. so you're at home, you're relaxing, you're reading a book or whatever, whiskey is meant to be sipped. Now here's the other thing, before we go into that. There is a battle between Scotland and Ireland who created the first whiskey, and it goes back to like the 1300s. Now, I am both Scottish and Irish, so I don't care. <laughs> I do think that the Irish kind of had it, and they kind of had the reputation. So okay. uh, that's it. And uh, so I got started, and someone one day at an Irish pub said, well, try this Irish whiskey, uh -huh. and taught me about it. Yeah. Then I learned more, so I would go there, and people would go, tell me about this Irish whiskey. And i go, and they would sit three little shots down, and I would give it to a person, try that. Try that one, try that one. Now I'd take the best two, say, okay, those are mine, you can finish off that last one. So you got schooled, but then you started schooling and, other people. Right, and then okay. my son went over to Ireland for, um, he went over there for law school. And he passed me up. So, <laughs> you know, it's just, you always learn, so. Okay, so you brought some stuff to sample. Right, now, and let's do a little bit of history. So when ours first came out, it was all over the world. Okay. And then we hit Prohibition. And then, our, then Ireland became its own country, and England and all of its countries kind of banned it for a while. So we went from a lot of distilleries all over the country to just two. Okay. And that was Jameson and um, Bushmill, right over there. The okay. last two. Okay. okay. So they were the most popular. Didn't mean there wasn't other Irish whiskeys, but they all went to the same place to have them distilled. Okay. Now Irish whiskey is taken off. It is the number one whiskey. Really? And it has gone from two distilleries now to 32, and we're still counting. Wow, that's okay. crazy. Okay, so, so what's the best? Okay, so we're going to try you, and this is Jameson. Jameson right here. This is a classic, right? It's the popular one. It's okay. not the high-end one, but it's the most popular. So you'll find okay. it in every bar in the world. So just take your little sip. Okay. 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 That's little Jameson. Kick. Little, little kick. kick. Okay. Now, we're going to switch you to Bushmill. Now, Bushmill is made in Northern Ireland, okay? Okay. And uh, it's, it's got the oldest distillery 
it wasn't the oldest at the beginning, but continually on. So in England, they drink a lot of bush meal. And a lot of spy novels, they talk about bush meal. It's got a cool name <laughs> and stuff like that. It's okay. a little smoother, I think. Okay, a little bit smoother. Now we're going to go to red breast. So in, in with the Jameson product, it goes Jameson, red breast, and then you get into these green, yellow, red spots. So try that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that... That has a kick. That, okay, that, now, here's the There's difference a kick. with this one. <laughs> These are blends. This one is made from a single pot, and, it, and so everything came out of the one barrel. Okay. So where these, they take a little bit of what they have and mix them all together. Okay. So that's that. Now, right now, Tiramadu, and I'm going to pour you just a little bit Oh, my bit gosh. Of this is my breakfast. I know. <laughs> This is my breakfast. This Pat. one is, is now. Can you, can you mix it with anything else, like a cocktail oh, or yeah, something? Oh yeah, you can. And uh, and okay. I would suggest you don't you don't mix the red breast or the blue spot. You okay. Mix, you mix the bushmill or okay. Thing. And a couple things you can mix with. Obviously ginger ale. Very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. <laughs> this is there is a big difference this between is this one and the, the first most one. Popular. This and, and Jameson are the probably the two most populars. Okay. Now, um, yes, yeah, so you can use a little bit of honey. Okay. Um, or um, Coffee? Uh, huh? You can do coffee. <laughs> we'll get there in a minute. Or um, a lot of people will use uh, ginger ale. Okay. Now, I'm a purist, so the, what I'll do is I'll just take, and sometimes it helps it to breathe a little bit. Oh, and then, or you can add like a little ice, too, a little right? Ice. Yeah. Now, okay. I'm going to tell all the viewers this, especially with COVID and everything going around, if you're feeling just an itch in your throat, <laughs> you take some hot water, some lemon, and some honey, and some cloves, and you add the Irish whiskey, and I'm going to guarantee you, it's going to cut out whatever you have. It's a nice little, it's called a hot toddy, and it works great. Well, it's too bad you give that to my coffee. kids then. Yeah. <laughs> give so, them that sore um, throat. <laughs> so that's just the Irish whiskey. Okay. There, there's probably, right now, about 50 different kinds. Okay. So. All right. Well, I have been schooled. I learned. I learned a lot, Pat. Yeah. I learned a and lot. The crew and I are going to have a great time, and <laughs> it's going to be an early day for us. It is. It is. All right. Well, thanks for coming on, and and cheers to you. 